Hello audience, my name is Lucy. I wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Lucy would like to welcome you for visiting Health Fitness 1047 and here is the official news. Let's see. One, Nia Long details huge responsibility, playing Katherine Jackson in upcoming Michael biopic Nia Long is set to portray Katherine Jackson, Michael Jackson's mother. In an upcoming biopic about the pop icon, reflecting on her role, Long described Katherine as a woman who carried the weight of the world on her shoulders. During the American Black Film Festival, she praised director Antoine Fuqua for his work on the project and commended her co-stars, Joffre Jackson, who plays Michael, and Coleman Domingo, who plays Joe Jackson, highlighting their talent and character. 2. Kevin Hart, Samuel L. Jackson, Taraji P. Henson, Don Cheadle, Chloe Bailey, Terrence Howard star in Fight Night, The Million Dollar Heist, Fight Night, the Million Dollar Heist, a new series on Peacock based on an iHeart True Crime podcast, recounts the infamous armed robbery during Muhammad Ali's 1970 comeback fight, which significantly impacted Atlanta's cultural landscape. The story centers on Chicken Man, Kevin Hart, a hustler who hosts a lavish afterparty that ends in a historic heist. Accused of orchestrating the crime, he seeks to prove his innocence to J.D. Hudson, Don Cheadle, one of Atlanta's first black detectives. Hart, who is also an executive producer, expressed his excitement about the project in a Vanity Fair interview. 3. Usher sets the record straight, no, he never worked as Beyonce's nanny ahead of his Super Bowl halftime show. Usher addressed rumors about babysitting Beyoncé during an appearance on Shannon Sharp's podcast. He humorously clarified that he would be a manny rather than a nanny and denied being her babysitter. Usher explained that he was asked to supervise Beyoncé and others at musician Daryl Simmons' home when they were in Atlanta, before Destiny's Child was formed. He reflected on his role during that time. 4. MLS, Adidas, and black players for change unveil Juneteenth merch Major League Soccer, MLS, announced a series of initiatives to celebrate Juneteenth in collaboration with its clubs, Adidas, and black players for change, BPC. The 2024 celebrations aim to honor Juneteenth and amplify black voices in sports and beyond. A special edition pre-match shirt, IAM No. 19, designed by Adidas, will be worn by players during warm-ups from June 15 to June 19, highlighting the significance of Juneteenth and the ongoing work for racial equality. 5. Tony. Spotlight on Black Actors' Opportunities in Independent Films NBA All-Star Anthony Davis has teamed up with director Raven Magwood Goodson for the independent film Finding Tony, which premiered on May 9th at the TCL Chinese Theaters in Los Angeles. Stephen Bishop, known for his role in Bet's Being Mary Jane, stars as Tony Green, delivering a powerful performance that allowed him to explore personal grief. In an interview, Bishop revealed that he drew from his own challenging life experiences while portraying his character. Six. Michael B. Jordan acknowledges feeling lonely plus challenges faced by single black men over 35 in finding partners in a recent episode of On Purpose with Jay Shetty, Michael B. Jordan discussed his feelings of loneliness amid his busy life. He admitted he is not ready to start dating again, feeling isolated by his responsibilities and the weight of his career.
Jordan shared his internal conflict between wanting companionship and the uncertainty of finding the right partner. Emphasizing the importance of mutual love in a relationship while recognizing the challenges in achieving that simplicity. He also noted the need for a partner who understands his demanding schedule. 7. Raven Simone addresses 2014 African American comments backlash plus how do you identify with race? Raven Simone has clarified her previous comments about her identity, stating that they were misunderstood. In a recent episode of her podcast, she discussed the backlash she faced after a 2014 interview with Oprah Winfrey. The topic resurfaced following a segment on Real Time with Bill Maher, where he referenced her interview in relation to discussions about race. Raven Simone expressed that the controversy has continued to affect her since 2014. 8. Insights from a Black Male Therapist Clay's journey on Love is Blind, in Season 6 of Love is Blind, A.D. and Clay started with a strong connection but faced challenges by the reunion. Initially, A.D. was attracted to Clay's personality. But their relationship hit a snag when Clay prioritized physical appearance. However, he later recognized the importance of their emotional bond, leading to a deeper connection. A.D. noted that she found it easy to withhold information about her appearance, which allowed Clay to focus on their emotional ties. Despite overcoming initial hurdles and Clay proposing, they encountered significant issues in Charlotte, particularly related to Clay's work commitments and A.D. feeling unappreciated in their relationship. 9. Chappelle criticizes Cat Williams's comments on black comedians Dave Chappelle recently commented on Cat Williams's interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay, where Williams criticized several black comedians. During his performance at the Hollywood Improv, Chappelle expressed his disapproval of Williams's remarks, questioning why he only targeted black comedians and not their white counterparts. Chappelle acknowledged Williams's talent but urged him to stop painting ugly pictures of fellow black artists. He also noted that while hurt people often hurt others, he himself has not engaged in such behavior, contrasting his approach with Williams's tendency to criticize others. 10. 50 Cent Eyes Collaboration with Taraji P. Henson After Team Shake Up Taraji P. Henson recently dismissed her entire team over frustrations regarding missed opportunities for her Empire character, Cookie Leone. In response, rapper 50 Cent expressed interest in collaborating with her, stating on Instagram, they dropped the ball. FKM, Taraji P. Henson, I'm ready to work. Let's get it. Henson also spoke out about pay disparity in Hollywood, particularly for black actresses criticizing her production team for not having plans to capitalize on her character's success after Empire, such as securing endorsements or commercial deals.